Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about recovery from deadlock. When the system is in deadlock, there are two options for breaking a deadlock. One is by process termination and second one is by resource preemption. So we have two options for breaking a deadlock. One is by process termination, another one is by resource preemption. So first we will study how we can break a deadlock by process termination. Deadlock can be eliminated by terminating one or more processes which are involved in deadlock. When processes are terminated, then the resources which were allocated to them are reclaimed by the system. There are two methods to eliminate deadlock by terminating one or more processes. First method is we will abort all deadlock processes. Right? It means all processes which are involved in deadlock, they are terminated. And this method will be very expensive because the deadlocked processes may have computed for a long time and the result of these partial computations will be lost when these processes are aborted. And these result of these partial computations will have to be recomputed later. So if uh, we eliminate uh, the deadlock by terminating all processes which are involved in deadlock then this method will be very expensive second method is that uh, we abort one process at a time until the deadlock cycle is eliminated so in this method what happens we terminate one process and then we check whether the deadlock uh, is still there or not right if a deadlock is still there then we will terminate another process and so on that we will keep on terminating the processes one by one until the deadlock cycle is eliminated right so this method has a drawback so what is the drawback of this method the drawback is that after each process is aborted the deadlock detection algorithm is invoked to determine whether any processes are still deadlocked or not right so therefore this method incurs considerable overhead so what is the drawback in this method in this method what happens after terminating each process right it needs to be checked whether the processes are still deadlocked or not right so to check whether the processes are still in deadlocked or not deadlock detection algorithm is invoked right so it incurs considerable overhead. So now we will consider the second option for breaking the deadlock. The second option is we can break the deadlock by resource preemption. So in this method we successively preempt some resources from the processes and these resources are given to other processes until the deadlock cycle is broken. So when we use this uh, resource preemption method, then we need to consider three issues. First is selecting a victim, right? So what happens, uh, we need to consider which resources and which processes are to be preempted. We must determine the order of preemption to minimize the cost, right? So we need to consider the issue that uh, which resources and which processes are to be preempted, right? And uh, we must determine the order of preemption to minimize the cost and the cost factors may include the number of resources which a deadlock process is holding and uh, it may include the amount of time the processor has uh, thus far consumed from its execution now second issue we may have to consider is rollback so what happens when resources are preempted from a process the process roll back to some safe state and restart from that state in general what happens it is difficult to determine what a safe state is so the simplest solution is total rollback about the process and then restart it right now the third issue which we have to consider is a starvation so in a resource preemption what happens we preempt some resources from the process and uh, these resources are given to other processes right so what happens uh, this uh, method may cause some processes to starve right this method may cause starvation 
uh, if resources are always preempted from the same process then it will cause starvation so we need to consider the issue how we can guarantee that uh, resources will not always be preempted from the same process